QR codes are everywhere in our world today, helping us quickly find information and connect the real world with the digital world. With the incredible progress in artificial intelligence, we now have the power to transform QR codes into jaw-dropping works of art that will simply blow your mind. If you're eager to learn this hottest trend of making AI QR code art, then congratulations! You've landed in the perfect spot! In this video, we'll guide you through each step, showing you exactly how to create your very own AI QR code art. So let's get started! A QR code is a type of barcode that looks like a square filled with little black and white squares. When you scan or take a picture of a QR code using your smartphone or a QR code reader, it can quickly give you information or take you to a website without typing anything. It's like a shortcut that connects the physical world to the digital world in an instant. These are QR codes that are created using artificial intelligence models that have learned from many pictures. The result is a QR code that not only looks great but also serves a practical purpose. When you scan it, the QR art takes you to a specific web page, video, or other media. And because these QR codes are themselves stunning pieces of art worth admiring, it's like getting two things in one package, functionality and beauty. Before we dive into the process of creating AI art from QR codes, let's start by making a basic QR code image. This image will be essential for generating QR code AI art later on when we learn how to create AI-based QR code art. To generate the QR code, you can utilize any QR code generator of your choice. We will use the free QR code generator from 34QR.com. Let's create our simple QR code. Choose the type of text you want to encode and enter it in the QR code content field. Adjust the fault tolerance setting to 30%. Now click on the Generate button. Once the QR code is generated, you can download it as a PNG file. To ensure the best results, here are some helpful guidelines for you to follow. Set the fault tolerance to a high level. Create the simplest square fill with black and white pattern. Don't use the generators that may introduce thin white lines between black elements. Let's now explore three different approaches to generate AI art from QR codes, starting from the easiest and gradually moving towards more advanced method. So, let's get started. The first method we are going to use is a free tool available on Hugging Face website. This method is quite simple and doesn't require any setup. Just keep in mind that to achieve stunning art quality you need to be patient and experiment with the parameter values. Let's visit the QR Code AI Art Generator tool page on Hugging Face website. You can get the site URL from the video description. Let's first check some sample codes already available on the page. All these codes are pointing to Hugging Face website and look stunning. Let's now create our own QR code. First enter your desired QR code content or URL. Next, specify the value for the prompt and the negative prompt. This will help guide the AI in generating the artwork. For now we'll keep the parameters values as default. Click the Run button to initiate the creation process. OK. We got an image back, but it doesn't look very good. Let's try again after changing the prompt. This time we got a better result. If you are happy with the result, you can right-click the generated QR art and save it. While creating the QR code, you can also upload your already generated QR code and experiment to see the new results. Here we are uploading the QR code that we generated earlier using 34QR website. Let's try again after entering the prompt text. I am still not happy so I'll give one more try after updating the prompt. You can also play around with parameters values. This time we got better results. You can see how we need to tweak our prompts and parameters to get the result that is visually appealing. Here are some tips to get better results from this tool. Use a high strength value between 0.8 and 0.95. Choose a conditioning scale between 0.6 and 2.0. If the generated image looks way too much like the original QR code, make sure to gently increase the strength value and reduce the conditioning scale. 
This wraps up our first tool and now we'll move on to the next tool that is from QuickQR Art. QuickQR Art is a user-friendly website that assists brands crafting scannable QR codes. Currently, QuickQR Art is in the beta testing phase, and individuals can become part of the community to gain early access to the QR Art AI generator. This method needs you to have a Discord account and use a Discord channel to create the images. Using this method you can generate 25 QR art designs that has watermarks. If you wish to generate additional designs or obtain watermark-free artwork, please refer to the pricing section on their website for further details. I found the quality of generated images really good. Let's explore this tool. We'll start by creating a simple QR code first. You can skip this step if you already generated the QR code using the method we shared earlier. Once the QR code image is generated, download the PNG file. Next click on the Join Beta Now button. You will receive an invitation from their Discord server. Accept the invite and complete the process of creating your Discord profile. Once your profile setup is complete, you are all set to create stunning QR art. To learn about the image generation process, you can check the Discord's How to Use section. Next, navigate to Pixel ML Bot 1. In the message box, type slash QR art. Provide a description for your prompt. Next, upload your QR code file. After uploading the QR code file, hit Enter. The bot will begin processing your request. Once your QR code AI image is ready, you will be able to view and click on your generated image. Finally, right-click the generated image to save it to your device. Experiment with different settings for QR weight and balance steps until you achieve the desired outcome. Here are some tips to get the better results. The default value for QR weight parameter is 0.8. You can adjust this value between 0 and 2. Adjust the QR weight tuning parameter towards 1 for better readability. Try small increments like 0.05. Higher values will make the QR code stand out more in the generated output. The default value for balance steps parameter is 16. You can set this value between 10 and 20. Increasing the steps parameter to 20 will result in improved artistic quality, but it can reduce the scannability of the code. Here are some QR art pieces that I crafted using the QR art generator. Each of these leads directly to my YouTube channel, Learning Expressway. It's important to note that not every image will result in a functional QR code. The success rate is approximately 1 in 4. To find scannable images that yield desirable results, you'll need to go through multiple iterations. This wraps up the second technique to generate the QR art. Let's now explore the third technique which involves using Stable Diffusion in combination with ControlNet. Stable Diffusion is an open-source AI tool from Stability AI that can generate images from natural text. ControlNet is a neural network structure to control diffusion models by adding extra conditions. It can be installed as an extension for Stable Diffusion. Here are brief setup instructions. To use this technique, you will need to download and install Stable Diffusion Web UI repo from Automatic 11.11. This web UI can be used on Google Collab, Windows, or Mac platforms. Next, get a checkpoint model. In our case, we'll use GhostMix. Once you have obtained the model, place it in the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder under Models in Stable Diffusion directory. After checkpoint model, download the control net model. You can download this model from the Hugging Face website. In our tutorial, we have downloaded the control net tile model. For complete setup instructions, check the links in the resources section. This method allows you to generate exceptional quality QR code art. You also don't need to worry about watermarks or expenses. Once you have completed the local setup, it won't cost you a dime. Once installed, you can run the software by running the webui.sh command from Stable Diffusion Web UI directory. Once the model has loaded, 
Open the web browser and navigate to localhost on port 7860 to start Stable Diffusion. Now, on Stable Diffusion UI, select the checkpoint model. I am going to use Ghost Mix. Next, go to the Image to Image tab. And import the original QR code image into the software. Next, enter the prompt and the negative prompt value. Then we'll set the parameters for the image to image settings. You can adjust the parameters to control the style and complexity of the image. Choose Just Resize for Resize Mode. Then select DPM++2 mKeras as sampling method. Enter 768 as width and height values. Keep CFG scale as 7. Select Sampling Step as 50. We'll keep Denoising Strength value as 0.75. Next we'll upload the QR code to ControlNet's image canvas. Then we'll set up the ControlNet settings. Select Enabled checkbox. From Control Type section, select Tile. For preprocessor, the value will be Tile Resample. Under Model, we'll select Control Tile model we downloaded earlier. Select Control Weight as 0.87. For the starting control step, we'll select 0.23. For the ending control step, select 0.9. And that's it. Now click on Generate button to generate the image. The image generation process will take a few minutes to finish. Your AI QR code art is now complete. To view the completed design, simply click on the image. To verify the functionality of the QR code image, you can use any available QR code reader app on your mobile device. If you are satisfied with the design, you can save it and then download it. Please note that not all images will result in a functional QR code. The success rate is approximately 25%. To increase your chances, make slight adjustments to the parameters and generate more images. When satisfied with the image, don't forget to scan them to identify the functional ones. Not all QR codes work the same. Some could be marginally working and can only be read from a specific distance. After my third attempt, I successfully generated a functional QR code artwork. Here are some tips to get the better results. The denoising strength is typically set higher than 0.7. If you reduce it too much, you will only see the QR code. To show more of the prompt image, Decrease the control weight and increase the starting control step. Decrease the ending control step to stop the control net earlier so that the QR code and the image can blend more naturally. And this concludes our third technique. AI QR art not only enhances the user experience, but also opens up new possibilities for creative expression. So, let's embrace this mix of technology and art to create amazing QR codes that people will remember. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a great day!